Fran Brown is a woman of many talents. Not only is she a professional percussionist, she's also a trained circus artist, a skydiver, and a student of physiotherapy. And in 2012, the multi-skilled Briton became the world champion paraclimber. Six years earlier, working as a lighting technician in London's West End, Fran fell from a lighting rig in a theater. Age 22 at the time, the injuries she sustained were life-changing. I was a worker, I had an accident involving a ladder, and it meant I dislocated some vertebrae in my neck, and that injured my spinal cord. So I became an incomplete tetraplegic. So I injured my spinal cord at C4 level, which is around about here. And it means that from kind of here down is really weak and I have limited sensation and it affects my hand all the way to my hands. Like they don't get flat, they only go kind of like that and they don't bend properly. So it kind of affected everything and that's why I use the chair. I remember being really upset because I was working, like I had to be in work to earn money. I moved to London for a job that I loved and I kind of was like, what am I going to do now? And I didn't think straight away that it would mean I'd spend my life in the chair, I kind of thought, well, you, you injure something, you're going to get better, right? And so I was kind of annoyed when I ended up in the chair. But I'm quite resilient and I just wanted to kind of go, OK, if this is it, what can I do to make it better? Like, what can I do to make the most out of it? Born in Cornwall in southwest England, Fran Brown has always been insatiably active. Growing up near a rocky coastal landscape, her main pastimes as a child were surfing and rock climbing. At school, a teacher persuaded her to try climbing competitively, and she found success at regional and national levels. However, following her accident, four years passed before Fran attempted the sport again. Her first experience then was frustrating, but after a year of developing her upper body strength, she gave it another go. Fran's coach at the Arch Climbing Centre in South London is Jimmy Gustin. With someone in the wheelchair and you think, oh my God, like, like, this is not going to work, they're just going to climb with their arms and uh, it's really difficult. But uh, it's, you, you, you're going to take everyone as an individual, you know, and then actually meeting Fran and see how she climbs and, and the way she got around things was amazing. How do I climb now? I pull with my hands, but they don't go flat, so it has to, I pull with my finger, the very ends of my fingertips. And my arms, I do a lot of pushing and pulling, which other people don't do. And basically, I can swing my legs up onto the wall, but I don't get much push out of them. But they're really useful on the wall for balance, because otherwise they drag behind you and pull you off. And I can pick them up and put them on hold, and like put the heel on a hold and pull in a bit. So they're not very useful, but that's basically how I climb. It's mostly upper body pulling. I would say she got fingers of steel. Only nine of them, but still, they're, they're pretty good. <laughs> it's very much a journey of kind of exploration of like what I could do with my body. Lots of people were like, oh, we don't think you could ever boulder. You have to be in a rope all the time. And I wanted to prove that wrong because I knew I could land okay. And it was figuring out how, initially I didn't use my legs at all to climb and then I worked out that I can pick them up and use them on holds and stuff. So it's, it's been a long journey of exploration and maybe like three years now, and I'm still probably finding things that I can do or different ways around things. So, but it's been worth it, I think. As with many para sports, para climbing has a complex classification system which is constantly evolving. To ensure that climbers are matched competitively, they're assigned a numerical factor based on the level of their disability. The scale ranges upwards from one, which would be completely functional. Fran is the highest rated climber in regular action at 2.26. As an incomplete tetraplegic, Fran competes in neurophysical disability classes, but does so against girls with greater functional ability than her, due to a lack of competition in her own class. Incomplete means that my spinal injury isn't complete, so I have some movement and sensation below the level of my injury and below where those nerves control. 
And tetraplegic means that all four limbs are involved, basically. So everything from here down. So my arms and my legs and my trunk are involved. In the years following her accident, Fran has taken on more challenges than most people do in a lifetime. As a percussionist, she's drummed in a host of sellout West End musicals and also with the British Para Orchestra. As a circus artist specialising in silks and trapeze, Fran performed at the opening ceremony to the 2012 London Paralympics. Now an ambassador for the British Mountaineering Council, the inspirational 29-year-old is also one year into a degree in sports physiotherapy, with an eye to a future career. Um, eating was hard, like picking things up because my hands were affected, like, and I have arthritis as well, so that makes it even worse. I really struggled to like pick things up to eat, like doing up buttons. So even little tiny things would take a lot longer. And they still take time, like I hate tying my shoelaces now. It just is too fiddly. For her being in a wheelchair, it doesn't stop her to do anything. So very um, driven, but not single-minded, I would say. Very open-minded, but driven as a person. OK, so when you go in, don't jump at the diagonal like this, because the air's all going to hit you on the chest, and it's just going to push you straight back out. You have to get down nice and low, chin up. Being in a wheelchair has emphatically not stopped Fran from pursuing another of her passions, skydiving. Before her accident, Fran had racked up a remarkable 240 skydives across the globe. At the Air Kicks Indoor Skydiving Centre here in Basingstoke, Fran has been testing how much her disability has affected her flying. It turns out, barely at all. The plan now is for Fran to get airborne for real later this year. And with the next Paraclimbing World Championships coming up in the north of Spain in September, her aim is to take to the skies while she's out there. It's another opportunity that's come to Fran, thanks in no small part to her decision to resume climbing. I think it's been amazing because it's got me back to being with my friends, like the same people I hang out with. I get to travel loads. I mean, I wouldn't, it sounds really bad, but to put a positive spin on my accident, I would never have been a world champion in an able-bodied sport. So, I mean, you, you have to look at it that way. And I now have the opportunity to travel the globe. OK, I have to put the work in to, be, to stay good at what I do, but I get to travel, I have sponsors who will fund that. Yeah, I get to go places I've never been before, so it's really like, made it a positive experience, not a negative experience. And as it's the rest of my life, it's good that it's a positive experience, really. The Paraclimbing World Championship win in Paris in 2012 was a defining moment for Fran. As well as cementing her place at the top of the sport, it brought with it the opportunity for sponsorship and backing, which Fran relies on to compete. Her main sponsor, the Arch Climbing Wall in London, help cover her travel and accommodation costs for competitions. However, paraclimbing is a sport which struggles to attract the backing and exposure it needs to develop. Arguably, paraclimbing's biggest need is for more people to get involved. Climbing for, as a, a, a disabled sport is very, very difficult. It is extremely difficult especially with the uh, neurological disabilities. But in the end, if you're inspired by something, give it a shot, you know? <laughs> That's it, yeah, completely. Last month, Fran successfully defended her British title. Her paraclimbing ambitions are many and wide-ranging. Equally at home bouldering or climbing lead, Fran is keen to develop her own skills and encourage others to take on outdoor environments. Furthering the general interest in her sport remains a fundamental concern for Fran. For what paraclimbing has given her, it's clear to see why she wants to give something back. I feel I don't mind being disabled now. I, I, for a while, like maybe a couple of years, it took me time to kind of Everything was a pain and it wheeling was tiring and so I didn't really enjoy life. I kind of like was 99% disability and maybe 1% life. And now I feel I'm like 2% disability and 98% life. So my disability is 2% of my day, basically. It's the best way to sum it up. 